Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt, please comment in the section or else you can be able to join us in the Instagram page. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the types of metamorphosis where it uses it also cover the growth and development as well as the immature stages of insects. So the first we are going to see is the ambiotus development so where you can able to see the younger one also use it to see have the same resemblance of the adult one so they use it to have the same body postures from their young one except in the egg stage so for example silverfish so, and uh, after that we are going to see about hemibetabola which is said to be known as the incomplete metamorphosis so they use it to form a, a dragonfly nymph as well as the dragonfly nymph use it to have an emerging from nymph stage and they use it to form adult dragonfly so the examples are the dragonfly damselfly as well as the mayfly so these are the known as the hemi metabola where you can able to have a loss of pupil stage and the power of metabola stage which is also known as the gradual metamorphosis so which is said to be known as as same as the young one but they use it to have some small resemblance so they used to have uh, eggs and they used to form adult one and the pre insta stages and the adult one so they used to resemble uh, the adult one but there are some changes in this type of gradual metamorphosis and uh, it's also an example so where you can able to see the eggs and uh, a nymph and the adult for gradual metamorphosis where there is some slight changes to adult as well as the nymph and uh, after we are going to see is holo metabola which is known as the complete metamorphosis so where you can able to see the egg larva pupa as well as the adult so butterfly moths flies and bees are the example for holo metabola mm, you can able to see the egg which is converted to larva and the third stage is pupa and uh, and finally the adult so which is known as the complete metamorphosis and also we are going to see the hypermetamorphosis so where they, you can able to see the adult which is used to give an egg and uh, they used to form a triangling or a true grub and they used to form a pupa so they used to have up to five stages which is known as hypermetamorphosis so after that we are going to see about the immature stages of insects so the first one we are going to see is the egg which is also known as the first stage of eggs and egg insects so the egg is mostly an inactive in nature and the eggs are laid under the conditions where the food is available as well as they also used to determine for the future feeding of the future young ones as well as the eggs are laid in either individual or in groups based on the insect environmental changes and the out of productive share Mm, shell of the egg is which is said to be known as corin so the nearly anterior of the egg of the end there is a small opening like in the six which is also known as the micropyle which allows the entry of sperm for the fertilization in the cells and the corin which is made up of variety of structures and the shape and size of the insects of the egg are mm, mostly varied due to its psychological changes so after that we are going to see about the types of eggs the first one is the single laid eggs and the second one is the eggs laid in groups so we can able to see that the first one in single laid eggs you can able to see the sculptured eggs so where the chiron is a reticulated marking with ridges so for example the castor butterfly where the eggs are given this picture the they use it to have reticulated marking as well as the red shaped crosses in the egg shells and the elongated eggs so they used to have a cigar shaped edges for example the eggs of circum shoot fly and the round eggs which are said to be a spherical as well as globe round one example citrus butterfly and it which is a egg <coughs> of head head loss which is said to be known as head it used to have a cementer at the base of the hair so the egg is an egg stigma where it used to have a post 
posterior end which is used to assist in the attachment of the egg in the hair cells and the anterior end used to have a lid which is used to lift her at the time of opening for the head loss emergence and the egg with float so the egg is said to be like boat shaped which is mainly seen in the larval as well as the eggs which are laid in the water so the boat shaped structures are is used to have lateral sides which are said to be expanded for its floating mechanism so example anopheles mosquito which is said to be lay the eggs in water and uh, the second one which are said to be known as the eggs laid in groups where the pedicellate eggs so the eggs are laid in a silken stalk of about 1.25 mm which is a said to be one group of plant eggs are laid to be in the surface of the leaves so for example green lace wing fly where they used to have a pedicellate formation of eggs in the leaf surface and uh, barrel shaped eggs so the eggs are said to be barrel shaped and they used to have form a miniature batteries in the surface of the leaves and they are deposited in the compactly arranged mosses example sting bug and uh, after that we are going to see about Uthika which is said to be also known as Uthesia family and uh, which are eggs are deposited in chitinous capsule for example in cockroach so they use it to have a two parallel rows of eggs and in each row they use it to have eight eggs so the 16 eggs are arranged in two rows in the Uthika egg surface so the Uthika are said to be carried for several days producing the in the abdominal of female priorities as well as the opposition and scheduled pot is said to be done so at the top there is a crest where the small pores were used to form a gaseous exchange without water loss and the cutaneous egg case is said to be produced out of the secretion of the collateral glands of the cockroach and after that we are going to see is egg pots where it is mainly done by the grasshoppers so they used to secrete a frothy material which encases an egg moss which is deposited on the ground so the egg moss lacks a definite covering and the top of the egg the frothy substance hardens to form a plug which prevents the drying of egg in the soil surfaces and after that we are going to see is egg case so the mantids use it to form a eggs on the twigs which is said to be known as spumarin and uh, where they eventually harden to produce an egg case which is also as same as Uthika in the inside the egg case the eggs are said to be aligned in rows and in inside they used to have different chambers in the egg, cha egg cases and the egg moths where the moths are used to lay eggs in groups with the body moss of hairs so they use it to form an anal tuft of hairs at the end of the abdomen which is mainly used for the, this purpose and uh, example the rice stem borer where it used to have a egg moss and the female silk worm moth under captive laying eggs on egg cut so the each egg is said to be called as disease free laying DFL and the egg craft so in Culex mosquito the eggs are laid in the compact moss consists of 200 to 300 eggs which is said to be called as egg graft in water so it's how the Culex mosquito used to lay the eggs in water and after that we are going to see about the second stage which is larva in larva they is to be known as the active growing stage the immature stage between egg and the pupil stage of an insect are said to be known as the complete morphosis and uh, the stage differs rapidly based on the adult's habits so while seeing the types of larva there are around three types which are oligopod, polypod as well as olophus in oligopod they used to form a thoracic legs which are well developed as well as the abdominal legs are absent there are two subtypes which is campodiform as well as carabiform so in campodiform they used to have an elongated depressed body as well as over scler well sclerated body as well as the head is prognathus and the thoracic legs are said to be long when compared to another one and the pair of abdominal cells as well as the caudal process is usually present in the compodiform larva and the larva are generally said to be known as the predators and are very active in the environment example grubs of antlion as well as the grubs of ladybird beetle are example of a compodiform as well as the scarabiform where they use it to form a she-shaped subcylindrical body and the head is said to be well developed and the thoracic legs are 
short when compared to compound form as well as the caudal processes are said to be absent and the larva is sluggish as well as burrowing in wood or soil example the grubs of rhinoceros beetle and in carabi form they used to resemble the compound form in all characters except in the presence of shorter sessi and legs example the ground beetle carabidae and a uh, altari form where the body is cylinder and they use it to have long with a well developed head capsule and a cuticle hard and smooth legs and short so to be present in elati form larvae example click beetle and uh, the second one we are going to see is polypod or uh, which is also known as elati form larvae so they use it to have a elongated trunk with a large sclerized head capsule and the head be as a pair of powerful mandible which tears up the vegetation so you can able to see in different larvae where they used to feed on the leaves so they used to have a single lens rise which is known as stemata which is found either side of the head constitute of visual organs and the antenna is said to be short when compared to other larvae and they used to have three pairs of thoracic legs and up to five pairs of unjointed abdominal legs or the which is also known as the prolex which are said to be present and uh, they used to have a segmental and the end in claws of the thoracic leg which are used for holding of the leaves and uh, the bottom of prolex are said to be known as planta which is used to bears or rope the uh, short hooked spines as which is also known as the crotchets which are useful in clinging to the exposed surface of vegetation for walk uh, in the walking period uh, for example in hairy caterpillars like caterpillars semilopus as well as the lupus so these are the examples so the abdominal segment may be varied up to 3 to 6 and in 10 typically bears the prolonged legs so while seeing the first one of example hairy caterpillar they used to have dense pads as well as arrangement of tough hairs in the body and the hairs may cause irritation when they or touch when they touch the human body so example the hairy caterpillar as well as the squat caterpillar where the larva is said to be thick and the stout and the fleshy and the larval head is small as well as the retracted and the thoracic legs are minute and the abdominal legs are said to be absent in slug caterpillar so example cast slug caterpillar so such larva is said to be known as the platyform larvae and semilopus where they used to form 3 to 4 pairs of prolex which are present and the prolex are either for wanting as well as the rudimentary on the third and fourth segment so which are mainly used for their walking purpose example castor semilopus and the looper where they used to known as the measuring worms as well as the earth measurer and also known as the inch worm so these are the different names which are give, given for loopers so they used to have two pairs of prolex which is present in the sixth and tenth abdominal segments so example lencha looper and the adapus where the a uh, larvae with appendages with lo- for locomotion so based on the degree of development as well as the creation of head capsule there are three subtypes in the adapus larvae which is said to be known as eucelophus hemicelophus as well as acelophus while seeing eucelophus they are said to be the larvae with a well developed head capsule which is said to be used to have the functional mandibles maxillae stemata as well as antenna so the mandible act transversely in this larva for example wringless which is said to be known as the larva of mosquito as well as the grubs of red palm weevil are said to be examples of eucelophus and in hemicelophus the head is said to be reduced and can withdraw into thorax and uh, mandibles also used to act vertically so with, for example larva of house fly as well as robber fly and the acelophus where the head capsule is said to be absent and mouth parts used to consist of pair of protrubles as well as curved mouth and uh, hooks are said to be present and which is used to be associated with the internal screates so they are said to be also known as the vermiform larvae example larva of house fly which is also known as the maggots and after that we are going to see about the third stage which is known as the pupa which is also known as the resting as well as the inactive stage of hem- holometabolous insects so they in this stage the insect is said to be incapable of feeding 
and they used to have a transition in this stage is also known as the transitional stage where the larva characters are destroyed and the new adult characters set to be formed so while seeing the types of pupa they are said to be abducted where you can able to see classify them as chrysalis and tumbler exurate as well as cochrite while seeing the abducted they bear the mouth part legs and wings are said to be incompletely formed structure and they used to glue down as well as the integral parts of the pupal case for example egg lepidopteran insects and exurit where you can able to see the developing mouth parts as well as legs which are visible externally example hymenoptera and coleoptera insects and cochrite where the exurit pupa is formed within the lost several skin of the larva and the exterior is generally smooth and seed like structure in the neuronomen example dipterian insects so after that we are going to see about the pupal production in general pupal stages which is used to lack mobility so which is also known as the most vulnerable stage of each and every insect so to get production against adverse condition as well as natural enemies the pupa is said to be enclosed as well as the productive ca- cover is made which is al- also known as cocoon so and based on the nature and material used be on the preparation of ca- cocoons there are said to be known as that several types in example the silken cocoon ethan cocoon and hairy cocoon frazzy fibers as well as puparium so i have given the materials used for by the insect as well as the examples so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or else you can able to join us in the instagram and you can able to ask out doubts so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell like on to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch up in next videos